to study in Germany, you will of course need a place to live. Among students, there are three types of accommodation. You can either live in a shared flat, rent an apartment in a dormitory, or you can have your own flat. And we are going to take a look at all three of them right now. Come on. Option number one, shared flats. There are some dormitories who rent out shared accommodations, but you most commonly find them privately. There are some websites such as WG Gesucht where you can search for a shared flat and usually you get invited into an interview process, which is commonly referred to as a WG casting. But don't worry, no one's going to ask you to sing or dance. Sylvia, you're from Bulgaria and you live in a shared accommodation and dormitory. Why did you decide on living here? For me it's important to live with people and I think it's a lot cheaper than living alone. What are the other advantages of living here? We can always cook together, eat together, we're um, watching movies together almost every week and a lot of parties of course. That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Martin, you are from Germany. Can you tell us what to expect when we get invited to a so-called VG casting? Uh, so it's nothing special. We're just uh, asking you a few normal questions. What do you do in your free time? What uh, do you study? We just want to get to know you and see if it will fit to, uh, uh, to live with you together. So the most important thing is just to go there, be yourself and... Exactly, just relax and uh, be a nice person. <laughs> Housing option number two, living in a dormitory. To get a room in a dormitory, you will need to contact the housing service and this is a good thing, you can simply do that online. Shah, you're from Pakistan and you've been here for almost a year now and you decided to live in a single apartment in a dormitory. How come you decided to live here? For me, the most easiest way is to get accommodation in the student dorms because it's really easy to get one and it's really cost effective for our students. What other advantages did you find while you're living? Uh, many advantages you can say, like uh, you are really close to the your faculty, you don't need to travel, you are going by, by your food and the other thing is uh, if you're living here, so you will get a lot of information from the university, from the international office, and uh, you will not miss any festival, any events, and you will miss nothing. That sounds like a lot of fun. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> Housing option number three, a privately rented flat. In Germany, there are various platforms where you can find a private accommodation, but make sure to consider that this option might take a bit more of planning as you will need to meet with the landlord in advance. Andrea, thank you for showing us how you live. You're from Argentina and you live in a privately rented flat right here. Tell us, before you moved in here, were there any specific documents you had to hand in? Um, not really, uh, but basically you have to give proof of financial stability. Um, in fact, it wasn't easy to find an apartment for me. I started like two months in advance, but I finally found this place. I had an interview with the landlord, uh, signed the contract and I moved in. And you're happy here? Yeah, I'm really happy here. What are the advantages for you living by yourself in a rented flat? Well, there are many advantages. First of all, the location. It's close to my faculty and my workplace. The neighborhood is very nice. It's furnished and there is a gym here. And also, I mean, I don't mind sharing, but I prefer having my own space so I can cook and, you know, invite friends over and things like that. <laughs> perfect, thank you. You're welcome. There are two final advice I can give you. First, finding your perfect accommodation might take some time, so make sure to start your search early. And second, stay calm and don't hesitate asking for help. Good luck.